Hey, hi guys. I'm about to show you an installation of one KV system where we use five units of 150 watt solar panels. But this time around, we'll try to use a, you know, a new brand of uh, solar gadget in the market because it was highly recommended by one of our suppliers. And this brand I'm telling you about is the Tasha brand. Some of you might have heard about it. The supplier really recommended this. So here we use five units of 150 watt Tasha solar panels. They actually rated them 180 watt, but I'm calling them you know 150 watt because they might not generate up to 180 watt. So I did the installation in the night. I couldn't get to test the solar panels. But here on the roof, you can see we have about there are five units of 150 watt Tasha panels. If you can see them, they look smaller. That means they look smaller in size compared to the former uh, type of 150 watt which you ha we have, which have appeared longer. So this one are shorter but wider compared to those ones. So here we have five units of Tasha 150 watt solar panels, all connected in parallel. You can see behind me that is where the sun rises. Though this is somehow a flat roof and the solar panel has started generating already. So I will take you guys down, show you where our charge controller is uh, and where the battery is. Down here we have a 60 amp PWM solar charge controller because this is a small setup. We cannot use MPPT here. It will just be like a waste of fund. So we made sure we did the right connection from our solar panels by connecting the five solar panels in parallel to generate more current instead of voltage. Because with PWM solar charge controller, we just need a little voltage above the battery voltage and we are fine. Here we have the surge protector which is the 60 amp to protect the inverter from high voltage and from under voltage from the grid because the inverter have the ability of charging from the grid. So it's very advisable, it's very important when you use a surge protector to avoid the inverter from getting damaged. And here we have a manual changeover just in case the surge protector refuses to switch because the voltage is too high or it's too low, you can use your manual changeover. Beside that, the inverter comes with an inbuilt automatic changeover which makes it to switch between grid or the inverter whenever there is grid. Down here, we have a Tasha tubular battery, 220 amps, which mostly comes with two years warranty and uh, is highly recommended from the supplier. So it's one of the best. And here we have a 1kV smarting inverter, which is formerly Afri Power because everything in this inverter is the same as Afri Power. So what are some of the gadgets working from this or what are some of the gadgets that will be working from this uh, 1kV inverter? This is a three bedroom uh, flat three bedroom apartment but right now we have just some light on from the pop and we have some also in the sitting room here you can see this tv is working right now from this one kv inverter but one of the best things you should do when considering solar energy system is to make sure you oversize your solar panels because if you can see right now we are consuming this you know little amount of load but our battery is still charging this is just 8 a.m in the morning so we have about we have about 10.5 amps coming from the solar panel. That means each of the solar panel right now is giving about two amps. So that's one of the best things you should do. Always make sure you oversize your solar panels to get the best from your solar energy system. And for those that have been doubting uh, PWM solar charge controller because you don't know how to use it, you are using MPPT, you are using PWM, it's just your connection. So know how to do your connection and you are good to go. 